the disturbing story of hundreds of tires that are piled high on a lot on Detroit's west side. And it's more than just an eyesore. It is a safety hazard for people who live in that neighborhood. So we sent Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl to find out who's responsible for this big mess. A few months ago, city contractors tore down the house that was on this lot, but it didn't stay clear for long. Soon after, the tires started piling up, and they're coming from next door. One tire turned into two, two turned into dozens. Before long, the recently cleared lawn on Derby Street near 8 Mile and John R. started to resemble a used tire graveyard. It's not safe. No, it's not safe, is it? The lot shouldn't be full of tires because if there's a fire, they'll bur they burn forever. And your house is right there. Yes, yes. Neighbors knew exactly who was behind the dumping. Where are the tires coming from? They're coming from my, the guy on the tire shop right there. I paid a visit to A1 Kelly Rims and Tires Thursday evening. I was told Rod, the boss, wasn't in, so I came back Friday. Hello, hello, anyone in here? Eventually, the boss strolled out. Why are you putting tires on the lot behind you? That, I'm planning, I'm fence, fencing the lot. It's not your lot. I know. I'm in the process of buying it. Here's where Rod's hustle comes in. Turns out his brother used to own the property. He let it go into foreclosure. It gets turned over to the city of Detroit. Now good old Rod wants to buy it. So your brother lets it go into foreclosure. The taxpayers pay to tear down the house, and now you want to come back and get a sweet deal and buy the lot for $100. Everybody doing it, why not me? Before you think I'm picking on a man just trying to make a living, this is where Rod lives, a $500,000 home in West Bloomfield. No tires piled up around here. I would imagine you wouldn't get away with that in West Bloomfield, though, would you? No. So why are you doing it in Detroit? He may not be able to much longer. Late this afternoon, a city inspector arrived to investigate the tire dumping dilemma. Rod says he had no plans of keeping the tires here. He just put them here to make it easier for the hauler to get in. But the truck got stuck. He says they'll be cleared away in the next week or two. I, of course, will be checking back to make sure they are. In Detroit, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News.